G'day, welcome to Farming Live Australia. Today we're going to do some cattle work. Today we've got about 40 head of young cattle at home here to treat. We'll be treating them for flies, ticks and internal parasites like worms etc. And we'll be using Poron, which is a systemic solution that you put on their back and it goes through their system and treats the cattle for both external and internal parasites. This is the particular stuff we're using today. First off we get the cattle in the yard and then we force them into smaller and smaller area okay. until eventually they go up the race and then they get treated. The pour on process is not a particularly invasive procedure. It's really just poured in a line on their back and after that they are let go and it just soaks into their system and does its job. If you look on the left hand side of your screen, you'll see the cattle entering the race. We push as many in there as is comfortable for them and so that they don't have too much room, we try not to underfill the race. If you have only one or two in there, they'll tend to go backwards and forwards and be very difficult to treat unless you separate them off with sliding gates, which we do have there and we can do. This silly girl's thrown herself on the ground and got herself into a pickle. She's stuck now. But she'll be right. I'll treat her on the ground and open the gate and let her out. It probably looks like she's in a fair bit of distress, but she's not really. Once I treat her, you can see she'll get up and she'll be okay. She's just putting on a bit of an act. Sometimes they're worse than spoiled children. This particular batch of porn is fairly strong and you don't need very much at all. Only about 20 mil to a 400 kilo beast. So I'm only using a needle with a piece of plastic on the end of it to administer it. Our normal gun is really made for putting on bigger amounts than that. You can see here we've only got a few to go out of that mob so what I'm going to do is separate them off so that they don't start going up and down the race and make it difficult for me to treat them. They're separated off into separate lots and I'm just letting them out as I go just to take the stress off them. This is the last of the heifers we've got to do. We only had a dozen heifers to do. The rest we've got to do are all bulls and steers. Time for them to go back out in the paddock now. They've been treated. Now that we've finished doing the heifers, we'll do the bulls. And it's just the same procedure. Bring them in, force them into a smaller and smaller area, get them down the race, treat them and then let them back out and they go out in the paddock.
So now let's just do all the bulls, let them out, and then go and have lunch. Now, now repeat till they're all done. Pat's going down to open the gate to let them out. And you can see they know where they're going. They're following her. What you doing, boy? Back out in the paddock. They should look good in a couple of weeks time from that. It's the day after we treated the cattle and I've just come down to the yards to check and see if they're all right. I'm sure they will be. I'd be really, really surprised if anything was wrong. I haven't used that product before and I always maintain a policy of monitoring everything as I go. The first one then are the horses. They're the biggest fans of molasses, so they come first. And the heifers are starting to come, but they're not in any hurry. It certainly hasn't made them hungrier. What do you want, hey? They all look fine. There's no problems. Everyone's happy. The males are all standing outside the yard. There's nothing wrong with them. I think the major issue is that Pat normally feeds them every morning and I'm down here and she hasn't come yet. I think you'll find as soon as she comes, they'll all go in the yard for their feed. They just know that I'm not the one that feeds them. We pour molasses out for them each day and they have salt in the yard and other minerals as well so they can leak. This is our container of mineral, mostly salt in here at the moment, but we do give them calcium and phosphorus and other things as well. The horses think they've got to be the first ones to get a bit of molasses. Because I don't go down every day, and I was here yesterday and they had got treated. Today, because I'm back again, they're a bit wary. That's one of the issues why they're not in a hurry to come in the yard. It's a bit of a case of once bitten, twice shy. Well, all the cattle were okay, no problems. Now we just have to wait a couple of weeks to start to see a result. Anyway, that about brings to a close this edition of Farming Live Australia. See you next time.